instead of finishing his degree, a North Dakota State University student has spent the past two months learning how to walk again. Elias Youngboom suffered permanent damage but is seeing improvement with each passing day. Now he sees life from a different perspective. Elias Youngbloom spends every day with friends and family close by. In eight or nine weeks, there have been 12 hours where I haven't had family or friends here. The North Dakota State University music education senior and marching band drummer wasn't able to complete his courses this semester, but has more valuable things to learn or relearn now. This week I started feeding myself again, which sounds stupid and easy, but it's such a huge thing. <laughs> March 16th, after visiting his girlfriend in Fargo, Elias was on his way back home to Coon Rapids, but his drive was cut short. I was hit head-on by a drunk driver that was going the wrong way uh, down I-94, so they were going westbound in the eastbound lane, and uh, it was just over a hill, so I didn't really have time to react, and I didn't see it coming. Um, yeah, and so I was uh, extracted from the car, uh, I don't know how long, uh, and airlifted to Sanford Health in Fargo. Police say 44-year-old Jana Battern of Fergus Falls with a .196 blood alcohol content crashed into Elias in Ottertail County and suffered lesser injuries. Hours later, the news spread to his family. The real situation was so much worse than um, I knew or, or maybe even could have imagined. Both vehicles were going 70 miles an hour. The impact was just tremendous, so he, he just... Everything was swollen and tubes everywhere. Broke every bone in my face. I think I broke my jaw in three places. Radius and ulna. Uh, I broke uh, the middle two bones in my hand, uh, my middle finger. Liver laceration was another one that they had to take care of right away. I guess some bleeding in the brain that they uh, took care of right away. And then uh, later, the surface that I had some nerve damage in my right leg too. He suffered minimal damage to his brain and doctors expected a full recovery until. They're doing a routine exam and they said, okay, follow the light with your eyes and I didn't see a light. Elias will likely never see again. I had just had one morning where I woke up and I just all of a sudden hit me and it was, it was really hard. And I feel a little bit better now about everything because I can see how well he's doing, but it's still hard for me. I still, I, I think it's the most in unjust <laughs> piece of this, you know. The Youngbloom family will never forget the damage drinking and driving leaves behind. Realistically, I should have been dead. I mean, it's, it's a pretty much a miracle that I'm here um, just because she wanted to go for a, a joy ride, you know, a drunk joy ride on a Monday afternoon. It was just so totally avoidable. You know, I, I, don't, I don't understand <clears throat> how somebody who's that age, she's not young, she's not in her 20s, could make a decision like that. If I had anything to say, it wouldn't be anything very nice right now. Um, I Obviously, she has a problem, a drinking problem, but I think she has more than a drinking problem because she has a thinking problem, too. Elias says he hopes others will learn from her mistake. Just don't do it. It's just so stupid. It's not worth it. I mean, you could... Yeah, I mean, you could kill somebody. But with goals of running a 5K this fall and returning to teaching music, he continues to get stronger each week at the Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute in Golden Valley. I showered by myself. I haven't done that in two months. It's great. It's, it's you know, it's amazing. It's, it's uh, a great way to keep positive, basically. It's helping me stay focused and, and you know, you know, wanting to improve each week, so. The NDSU Gold Star Marching Band has been in tune with Elias's progress every step of the way and performed a tribute from across the pond. Actually, the marching band took a trip to Ireland in March and they dedicated a parade to me because it was right after the accident. What did that mean to you? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Obviously, I didn't find out until uh, much later, but it was, uh, yeah, it was just one of those reminders of why band is such a great thing, or has been such a great thing in my life. And through the support of loved ones and even complete strangers, Elias is marching on. If I had to sit, you know, by myself in my room and stew over all my thoughts, that would be a, it would have been a tough journey, but it's, it, yeah, having people here and, and always encouraging me and that definitely is what's helping me through. Battern does have a prior DWI conviction and could face up to 15 years in prison if convicted. Elias has a fund set up to help cover medical bills. For a link to his page, go to our website at ctnstudios.com.